Hey, what's going on? I'm back at the thrift store. Trying to find some scores. Wish me luck here. This is a church thrift store. They have good DVDs. Uh, well, good prices, like 50 cents per DVD. A lot of DVDs. I don't think they got restocked since last time, though. Hello. How are you? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, are those Legos for sale? Um, we haven't priced them yet, but if you want them, take them. You don't want them? Uh, yeah, I'll definitely take them. There's like 25 pounds of them there. Oh, awesome. That's really cool. I appreciate that. Sweet. Hello, how much are the clothes? Um, if you fill a bag, that's five dollars. Oh, awesome. And you can put it in a basket and we'll roll it and stuff it and get as much as we can in a bag for you. Sounds great, thanks. So the clothes are five dollars per bag. They do have some okay stuff. They have like a bunch of Patriot shirts. I'm not a big sports nut, but you could probably get rid of these, you know, if you put them all in one lot. These sweatshirts are pretty nice. It's about time I got some new duds. This is really old bellwether racing t-shirt, like bicycle racing. Okay, so got the bag of clothes. She said I could take these Legos for free, but uh, I want to give you five bucks for them. That's oh, fine. that's uh -huh. nice of you. Thank you. So heck yeah, got the Legos. They were free, but I gave them five bucks. I want some good karma in my life, so I didn't want to just take them for free. Five bucks still is an awesome deal. Yeah. I forget what she said exactly, but it's probably at least like 20 pounds worth. That's really cool. And then got the half bag of clothes for five bucks. Like the sweaters and the Patriots shirts and stuff like that. And here we are, next spot. Face mask required. Thank you. Hello. How are you? Good, thanks. Decent selection here. Wet. A long box PlayStation game. One of these is a video game. Do you know if you have any others? Yeah. This one right here, soccer. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. That's pretty cool. PlayStation long box. I wish I had Resident Evil long box. I could have bought it so many times, but it was just like a little bit too much, but now it's worth an insane amount. And how much are these? Two. Might grab that. Don't really collect the sports ones. This title sounds like it would be a horror movie, but nope. Rugby. So people come when you're closed? Uh... Yeah, we let them in because of the amount they spend, but we don't let just anybody in. Uh huh. We've known these people for years. How do you become one of these exclusive customers? It's not an exclusive customer, but we call them bulk buyers. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, you probably won't really, because we've got enough of them. Uh huh. And they pretty much wipe out. There's enough of them to wipe out all those like good stuff. Uh huh. Yeah. And they pay full price, or they get a discount? Here's a little tip. If you run a thrift shop, don't tell your customers it's not worth them looking through the product because there's nothing good to buy. You should tell them, oh, you might find something good. Oh, there's a Benfolds 5 CD they're gonna throw away. Oh, is that a camera right there? Yeah, oh. can I have this? Oh. You're gonna throw it in the garbage, right? Yeah, well, that's pretty cool. How much that cost you? 
Uh, these are expensive. They're yeah, like they're, a couple hundred bucks. Yeah, that's, that's really nice. Uh -huh. That's a whole bin of CDs. This breaks my heart right here. Save the vent folds five. It's dirty. The CD itself looks pretty good. I haven't listened to this in so long. It's actually pretty cool that I found that. So unfortunately, like the lady said, I'll never be an exclusive customer. But that's okay. I don't really want to buy hundreds of DVDs with like no discount added. I think if you buy that many, you should get a huge bulk discount. But you know, let's go to the next spot. In historic Wound Socket, Rhode Island, Salvation Army. They got some new sealed DVDs and games and stuff. Starsky and Hutch, Season 1, Mission Impossible, others here. Some DS games that are new. They're not really valuable, but still pretty cool. Just mostly curious on how much they cost. Don't lose it, right? No. Uh, you said something about a scar? Yikes. Are you all lying this? No, Not horrible. So those are priced just a little bit too high, but I did find a new hat. So this section right here used to have all DVDs and VHS. Now they have Cheers. It's like they're turning it into a library. That's kind of weird. So the DVDs actually went down in price to $1.99. What's funny is they have these over here. 11 just means they put these out in November. It doesn't mean $11. Uh, and like these are more valuable than the ones in the case. And like this one, this is worth at least like 20 bucks. So for $1.99, heck yeah. Sometimes they price uh, the, you know, the box sets more and then sometimes it's just the standard generic price. I hope these Seinfeld ones go to a good home. I don't need them, already own them, and for resale, $1.99, they're not really worth it, they're not really worth much, but awesome to own. So found a bunch of stuff. These DVDs are used right here, Nero, Wolf, but all the others are brand new and sealed. I'm gonna definitely be grabbing these right here, Mission Impossible, this two pack right here. Lucky numbers, this seems to be very out of print. Mr. Wonderful in the old snap case. Gonna grab this one too. Also found these ones new and sealed, but I'm gonna skip these. Did find some CDs. CDs are a dollar, so when you find Abbey Road for a buck, you grab it. When you find Ill Communications for a dollar, you grab it. When you find some weird, uh, you know, uh, bootleg homemade uh, Nirvana CD, you grab that also. Sometimes you can find these with like, you know, the discs have artwork and stuff, not this one, but still for a buck, I'll grab it. Soul Coughing, gonna skip that one. I just wanted to point that out. Once I found the sealed uh, LP record and it was worth a ton, so that was a great score. The CD not really worth anything. I don't need this one, already own it. I am a big NoFX fan. This right here was interesting. The Worms Armageddon. It came in like a big box, but they cut the box small to fit in a jewel case. I might grab driver for PC and I'm gonna pick up survival of the fattest. I somehow overlooked Wii Sports. Yeah. It's pretty scratched up, but for two bucks I'll grab it. Might as well pop into Sabres. So they actually lowered the price on some of their books, which is good. With comics, why not just have a set price? Don't put the sticker on the cover. They got GameCube controllers, a generic one that's red, and an official one. Five bucks, I'll grab this. Oh. Ghost Protocol Steelbook Blu-ray, but I don't like that price. Usually they're overpriced, but sometimes I find good deals, like this jacket right here, $4.49, I'll grab that. This Spinal Tap, not gonna grab it, but I've never seen this cover before, that's pretty cool. And so I said they're overpriced, like this random Wii game, which is $10. No thank you. Foxwoods Casino. You know I'm classy, wearing a second-hand jacket originally picked up at the casino. Jurassic Park t-shirt. 
in the Jurassic World universe, this is a collector's item, but not in the real world. Here we are at the Salvation Army Family Store. I hope it's okay that I don't have a family. I've been a bachelor ever since my wife Clarinette ran away with my neighbor Victor. Perfect magazine for us bachelors. Kind of obscure movie starring Tom Hanks and John Candy. It's not very good. That's pretty cool right there, five bucks. I'm here at Music Magic. I had some store credit, so I picked up these cassettes right here. Some actual pretty good ones. Red Man, that's awesome. Queen, Dio, Speed Soundtrack, Deep Cover, Wreck in Effects, ACDC, Bob Marley, Cronus, Ziggy Marley, and Tupac. Yeah. Why did I just do that? Uh, hello. Hi, I'm on the phone. We're here at the Goodwill. They have saw. Get a load of this jacket. <laughs> They have a couple hard to find DVDs, Wu, the story of the Wu-Tang Clan, and Blacktop Murder on the Move, starring Meatloaf a day. Never seen him credited with his full name before. <laughs> there you got Skate 3 on PlayStation 3, which is worth a little bit, but the disc is scratched. You usually have to go out of your way to scratch PlayStation 3 discs, but they did it. Had a pretty good day today, found a lot of cool stuff. Uh, those cassettes were pretty cool, especially the Red Man and the Tupac ones. Found some good new sealed movies. I found like a little bit of everything, CDs, a video game, uh, clothing. Yeah, so got some cool stuff. I hope you had fun watching. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. I'm out of here. <coughs>